folks. You see Chip and Rob are out in the shop and uh, continuing to work on the panel rack system for the solar modules. I've got some eighth inch angle iron here that the solar panels will rest inside of. The idea here with this angle iron is for when it's collapsed to be able to fit inside the trailer. I can't fit to uh, one 10 foot piece in there. So I opted for several five foot pieces that I can put on a hinge and collapse uh, so that we can slide them in the trailer when it's time for takedown. So that's what I've set up here. I'm getting ready to drill a hole uh, through both pieces. Uh, the idea there being we'll put a bolt through the hole and then when uh, it is time to use them, we'll simply pull it out in one unit, sort of like you see it here. And then we will just unfold it and extend it and then be able to install it in the panel rack system. So we've got uh, several of these holes to drill. Here we go. When you're drilling metal, you want to take it easy and put it on a very slow speed. You also want to use an HSS bit. HSS stands for high speed steel. What you're looking for is the bit to tear off large chunks like what you see there. Really large chunks. If you're getting a whole bunch of if you're getting a whole bunch of little chunks when you drill, chances are that your drill bit speed is too fast. Let me stop this for a minute and tighten this. Robert, what are you doing? Drilling holes. Yeah, for what? Um, the frame for the solar panels. Ooh, the frame for the solar panels. Does that mean we're going to get them up today? I hope so. We're running out of time. <laughs> we have Why? a deadline. Oh. Well, I have every confidence in you, beauty. I think you can do it. I'm trying. You're doing great. Maybe the thing to do would be to get a short piece of metal to connect them like that. It's time to install the anchors for the rack system for the solar panels on the trailer. And uh, we've chosen for an anchoring, uh, for fittings for the anchoring system, these little speed rail fittings from Ho a company called Hollander out of Ohio. Um, they're used a lot in, you'll see them a lot in uh, like festival kiosks. Um, you also see them on permanent, some permanently installed fencing gates things like that. They do have one division of their company that handles panel racking for solar arrays, but that's for permanent ground mount. Uh, I'm going with a smaller version of their uh, fittings to mount to the trailer for a panel rack system. Um, uh, they, they appear to be good quality and just the right size for what we need here. So these will be the six anchors that go on the side of the trailer. Let's get them installed. All right, folks, a nice hot evening in August. <laughs> and uh, we've been working on this panel rack to be mounted to the side of the trailer. There's a row of connections up there, and then there'll be another row of connections just above that black line. 
uh, to hold up this panel rack system. So we're just gonna uh, set up the camera, uh, line up these solar panels so you can see how we do it, make our marks. We've got some welding to do yet, and we've got some uh, holes to drill. power thing. What are you doing? I'm putting in these battery cables. Yes, indeed. Oh, and this is the one that I didn't get right. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all right. Let me fix it. Uh, folks, we uh, drilled a two and a half inch hole here because we've got to install the AC input for the generator. The AC input consists of a um, 50 amp RV plug that we'll just uh, insert here, like that. And then when the generator's not in use uh, and needs to supply power for charging the batteries or whatever and the solar panels aren't hooked up, we can actually plug a 220 plug in from the house or wherever, shore power it's called, uh, <clears throat> you know, grid power, <clears throat> plug it in here and uh, keep the batteries nice and charged when the solar generator is not in use and when the solar panels panels aren't out. So that's what we'll do. Folks, I thought I would take a moment and show you this. I'm, I'm actually working on <clears throat> building the extension cord for the external power on the generator when it's needed. And um, I thought I'd show you this. Now, uh, I'm trying to get as close as I can so you can see the way this is marked. You'll see these four holes. There are three near the top and one at the bottom. The one that is marked in with an X and has red dye on it is for power. The one to the right of it, which is marked Y and doesn't have any marking, is for power. The one to the uh, north is ground that's the one at the very top there in the middle ground and it should be colored green but i want to show you this one here on the very left because it's marked w which ordinarily stands for neutral and neutral should be marked white but it's marked green for ground and so this is the kind of stuff you got to pay attention to when you buy things from overseas. And keep in mind a lot of the stuff from overseas, just about everything we have now is purchased from overseas, everything we buy in the stores, all that. But I mean, they made a, a pretty, what could be a pretty serious mistake here by marking what should be a neutral wire with a ground wire. And uh, so if you had some sort of ground fault or something like go through the neutral, it might cause damage at the source where your power comes from, that kind of stuff. I just want to point that out to you. You've got to be careful when you're putting this stuff together to make sure you're getting it right. Um, uh, put a link in the, in the description or put a, uh, a, a screen you can click on at the end of the video that points out another problem we had with the trailer wire harness because all of the wires on that should be uh, certain colors. And they had all the colors, but... Um, they were in the wrong positions on the part that plugs into the bumper, so it screwed up all the lighting. Anyway, just another one of those things, uh, quality, you need to pay attention to what you got there and be careful with it so you don't hurt yourself or your property.